The Cavalcade of Music, presented by DuPont. Each Wednesday, the DuPont Cavalcade of Music presents compositions of one well-known contributor to America's lighter music. Don Voorhees, talented young musician who has made a name for himself in theater and radio, conducts the DuPont Cavalcade Orchestra. Again this evening, our guest artist is Francia White, charming young soprano who came east from Hollywood for this specially arranged series of musical programs. This evening's program features music of Sigmund Romberg, a man whose name appears on any list of those whose compositions have enriched American music. Who's Who in the theater lists him as having composed all or part of the music for 55 stage presentations through 1935, and his talent is now gaining additional outlets in Hollywood's picture studios. Scores he wrote years ago are still finding favor throughout the world. One of his recent successes was from the talking picture of two years ago, The Night is Young, and you are hearing a lovely song familiar to all of you, When I Grow Too Old to Dream. Twenty years ago, night before last, Sigmund Romberg's operetta Maytime opened and ran for 492 performances. Don Voorhees and the DuPont Cavalcade Orchestra play one of the hits from that score, Will You Remember? program of Sigmund Romberg music turns back to September 19th, 1928. It's the opening night of a musical show called The New Moon, 
a hit show whose Sigmund Romberg score helped it on its way to a run of 309 performances. Before Miss White sings one of the numbers from this show, let me read a telegram she received from Sigmund Romberg during rehearsal today. I remember vividly your beautiful singing in the Pacific Coast revival of Desert Song last season, and I'm looking forward with great pleasure to hearing you tonight with Don Voorhees and his fine orchestra. Stop. My best wishes to Don Voorhees as well as to yourself. Sigmund Romberg. of the Desert Song had a score filled with familiar Romberg melodies. John Voorhees and the DuPont Cavalcade Orchestra are going to play one of the show's most stirring songs, One Alone.
one of the lovely melodies from the new moon, the tango softly as in a morning sunrise in an arrangement for the DuPont Cavalcade Orchestra. from the DuPont Company, makers of chemical products since 1802. The message has a musical beginning. Recognize that tune, it's Mary Had a Little Lamb, the little lamb whose fleece, according to the nursery rhyme, was white as snow. But a DuPont research chemist will tell you that it takes more than an ordinary bath to make wool white as snow. And in telling the story, he'd probably reveal something of how modern research chemistry contributes to just about all fabrics which make up the clothes we wear. Our summertime whites, for example. White fabrics don't just happen. Wool and cotton are anything but pure white in their raw, natural state. And that's where chemistry goes to work. In days long ago, bleaching was done by spreading pieces of cloth on grassy riverbanks so that they would whiten slowly by the action of sun, air, and moisture. This is nature's way, and it often took months. Today, a more satisfactory white is produced in only a few hours through chemical bleaching. One such method uses active oxygen, liberated from peroxide solutions made by DuPont. A bright, uniform bleach is guaranteed whether the sun shines or not, because the process is chemically controlled every step of the way. So chemistry has helped give us whites for summertime wear but its contributions do not stop there. Such clothing does soil. What about washing it? By a continuation of the same process used at the textile mill, chemistry enables the modern laundry to keep both white and colored fabrics sparkling and fresh. DuPont supplies a hydrogen peroxide product trademarked Albone, which releases active oxygen as the washing is going on. Through the resulting action, whites and fast colors hold their original brilliance. 
Chemistry also serves you by lending a hand in dry cleaning clothing. DuPont chemists have devoted a great deal of research developing dry cleaning agents that thoroughly clean soiled garments without harsh treatment and yet leave absolutely no disagreeable odor. Such dry cleaning agents as DuPont's Tri-Clean and Per-Clean have made it possible for you to obtain a superior cleaning job at less cost. DuPont chemists also contribute in many other ways to the pleasure and service you get from your clothing. In the textile mills where fabrics are made and finished, DuPont dyes are used to create a great variety of new and interesting designs in fast colors of every hue. Other DuPont products render fabrics water repellent, mildew-proof, and resistant to stains and spots. Thus, in the task of making clothing more serviceable and more attractive, we see another example of DuPont's constant effort to provide better things for better living through chemistry. Here's another Romberg melody from the score of The New Moon. It's called One Kiss. Don Voorhees and the DuPont Cavalcade Orchestra play the accompaniment for Miss White solo. Our convention has been thrown all at you And I know I'm out of date when I seek one mate One faithful lover true To be really in the fashion today You must have a dozen boys in your way But somehow I don't believe in the modern plan I want to wait for just one man, one kiss, one man to say the song, one love to hear my lord, one word, one vow, and nothing more. Another beautiful waltz from the score of Maytime, The Road to Paradise.
John Voorhees, the orchestra, and Francia White in three Sigmund Romberg numbers, just once around the clock from May Wine, then Miss White singing the Desert Song, and then the stirring Stout-Hearted Men, another familiar favorite from the score of The New Moon. the name Sigmund Romberg is known to most of us and associated with interesting, long live music of the American theater and screen, hearing such a group of his works often makes us stop and say, you know, I knew he'd written a lot, but I hadn't realized that his music is so uniformly good. Romberg indeed wrote much, and the world sings his older songs just as it sings the new. We're pleased to salute the contributions of Sigmund Romberg to the cavalcade of music. Next Wednesday evening, we'll hear some music written by Arthur Schwartz for the musical romance, Virginia, which will open here in New York the following week. Mr. Schwartz himself will appear on the program, together with famed writer Lawrence Stalling, co-author of the show, Virginia. With the brand new Arthur Schwartz music will be other numbers he has written, including...
So we hope you'll join Don Voorhees and the DuPont Cavalcade Orchestra with Francho White next Wednesday at this same time when the DuPont Company of Wilmington, Delaware again presents the Cavalcade of Music. <laughs> Thank you.